Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Now like I said before, I said I was going to come back and make a video about it, so I'm going to talk about the situation that I am going to take up on myself to think about. So I'm going to be talking about Glistine Maxwell, I think I said her name right. This woman was arrested by the FBI in New Hampshire just the other day, so a lot of the information that's coming about just now is a bit vague. It's vague, right? So, well, anything that she says now will be a bit vague. So, why is this woman important? Because I bet no one has heard of Christine uh, Maxwell at all. Like, not at all. Well, she's been associated with the big man himself, Jeffrey Epstein. The man who was convicted of misleading young girls into sexual acts with him. And many, many horrible little things to be going on. And I do n I'm never, sorry, never that happy to talk about them. Um, yeah, they led to very, a lot of occasions of underage girls being sexually abused by Jeffrey Epstein. And Christine knew this all the time. And she even helped in the contribution to this. And why is she so important about this whole thing? Well... The fact is, the Liberals are going insane right now. They are going nuts. Because when Jeffrey Epstein was finally sentenced in that, he died. And the entire case was shut down. The whole thing was gone. The, sh the case was shut down. They couldn't look at anything because he was dead. And then Glistine, like, ran away... And nobody could ever find her. She'd been gone for an entirety of a year. They didn't know if she was in France. She didn't know if she was anywhere. She didn't know if it was UK or America. But the FBI, FBI tracked her down in New Hampshire in an actually quite a luxurious property. Weird, eh? And um, she seemed to be living quite luxury over there. And now they've caught her. Now... The liberal elites, the Democrats, are all losing their shit. Because the way Jeffrey Epstein was being treated was actually absolutely insane. But the thing is, Jeffrey Epstein was perhaps one of the most powerful men in the entire world. That, well, I wouldn't say that all the world, but he was definitely a card holder in some sort of attribute. Because this man had so much power, he had black cards, blackmail on every single leader, Democrat, Republican, Wall Street, everyone, business, celebrity, he had blackmail on all of them. And this is why people such as Bush, I believe, Bush, um, Clinton and Prince Andrew were big associates of this thing going on here where the big house and I think it was the private tropical island that he had like the apparently sexual acts happened in there as well and well now she is in the picture well I don't think she's gonna get so killed very time soon because we all believe we all know Jeffrey Epstein's death was just crazy how that made any sense because when he was sentenced to get his jail sentence he was mandatory to get not stuck in the jail cell all the time he was actually under house arrest in his own mansion during this entire time and this was a guy who's convicted of sexual acts against underage girls girls of 14 and like 9 to 14 and all so how did this come to be well i'm gonna get this try and get this light as much as i can well this happened at least 15 years ago where this was all starting to kick off. The investigation, they say, happened in the 90s, and I think it was like 94 to 7. We know that's probably way longer than it is. So back to 15 years ago, the Pambi Police Department got a phone call from a mother where this little girl was actually at Epstein's house and propositioned to have sex for money. And that led to a massive un uh, undercover investigation 
for an entirety of a year, so they couldn't just like go in the door and check. But it was just under a massive investigation where this all took place. And it led to the police investigating 17 different witnesses, and when they finally went to the house, they found loads of sexualia, sex toys, lots of porn kind of stuff that you end up finding in a porn house, you know, like toys and all that. This was after they found out of so lots of pedophilia stuff there with lots of underage girls going into the property, really underage, and all getting blind for money. There was even an incident where a girl who got paid $200 every time she was able to get a girl into the mansion itself. Yeah, it's not something you want to be thinking about, how much time she actually got successful with all that. And the police was able to get so many of the victims found out, and then they were, they found out all these little children, they were children, they were getting paid to two to three hundred dollars to do very sexual acts with Epstein and pretty much to shut them up. It was uh, quite a lot of money that they paid just to make sure it was okay. It's not, but this is how it all went. And when the police finally raided the house or the mansion, they found loads of pictures of pedophilia, pictures of young girls, sexual toys, scattered all around the mansion, and uh, you know, proof of the sexual acts being done to the underage girls, like ages from 9 to 14, and so on, and it's pretty, pretty disturbing. But the mainstream media wouldn't want to be telling you that. Well, however, when the police, police chief presented all the evidence on front of Palm Beach County's Democrat prosecutor of the beach, Barry Kutcher, I think his name was, he actually turned around and only charged one crime. He was presented all the evidence of all the underage girls and this Democrat guy, he charged Epstein with one crime, which was one account of soliciting prostitution on the acts of that he paid for the sex, and the girls obliged by paying for the sex, making it prostitutes. I don't have to explain to you how bad that is, that is not a good thing. To be go that far with a Democrat guy in such power state. So he basically just turned all these little young girls into prostitutes. Just falsely named to them all into saying, oh well, they're just prostitutes. These were not prostitutes, I tell you. And the eternity uh, probation officer offered him probation out of all this. And when the chief heard of this, he lost his shite! And this boy was near having it, so he was like, nah, well, if you're not going to do it, I'm going to go to federal government. And it went to federal government, and that's when things started getting spicy. And at the time, this was the George Bush administration. Uh, just to get the, like, the fact of this was not just prostitutes, these were underage girls that were getting exploited for sex. And this is also the same time when this was all getting exploited, the Me Too movement started showing up as well. And, well, understandably, it caused a lot of problems, the Me Too movement. We get it was legit for good reasons, but the Me Too movement turned into a bit more fuss. But let's continue with the Epstein situation. And this was the time when the, the news started again talking about our... Uh, a highly democratic uh, billionaire guy that gets protected by a democrat, you know, so on. It gets covered on the news and all that. But the thing is, you, most of the people like CNN and that didn't even actually report on it, funny enough. So it's not a fucking surprise there. And there was like many outlets that didn't actually do this till later on. So when the investigation came about, the which was led by a Demo uh, Republican thing, 
Epstein had to comply with two charges. Well, two well, two state felony charges which got him two years which got him two years out of all that. Still not quite a lot and there was still not a big word from the all the Democrats supporting news outlets that you know this guy got arrested, jailed, federal investigation and so on. And to make things even worse, Democratic uh, county prison professionals, they put Epstein in a private wing of the prison. So he wasn't chucked with all the other people, he was put into a private cell. Luxury, yeah? Gets worse. He got was able to get 12 hours a day six days a week into his own mansion throughout his entire sentence that is insane no other person would get that but as he was this was our democratic area they tried to make sure he got the luxury of a fucking prince which he already had from being as wealthy as he was this is probably where a lot of the black thingies came in anyway because he probably would have fucked a lot of people over I bet however in 2014 conservative lawyers sued the federal prosecutor for violating a victim's right act in the entire Epstein case which was obviously done and this is where Everything started coming about. The witnesses started speaking about. They were able to do that, and they was able to. The news started to get on to them too uh, about the private island. I uh, can't mind where it is, but there was private island where Prince Andrew visited. Uh, there was like a lot of high class people who visited that island too. It was quite a uh, remote spot, so nothing could ever actually get looked at. It was pretty much his own island, or in other words, known as the Orgy Island. And there was like very big names, and I, I don't know which presidents I mentioned before. I'm on about people like Bill Clinton, other prime ministers, celebrities that were there too. This orgy island, and I think this is where the news started getting in Donald Trump as well. Don't know how he, if he's involved in this at all. Maybe he's not. I don't fucking care. We're not on about him. We're on about Epstein and this girl. And anyway, after all that, they went to his mansion, they got him all the stuff on the Orgy Island, they got his New York office, they went everything, they got everything gathered up, they got everything, and this was maybe becoming the biggest sec the political sex scandal exploitation of, I don't know, like 60, 70 years anyway, it would be really, really big. Well, I'd say in history instead of that few years and this is where they found cds recordings tapes so on and just so much evidence to back it up like everything was labeled there was like i don't know i'm gonna use this as fake names like lily was one thing miley was another one you know they they were all named in that it was really fucking creepy and then they would be named with the celebrities or whoever so these black things would just come out magically and say oh that person did something oh that's it there and then it was all over and then conveniently Epstein, Epstein just demised vanished jail cell did it just died by natural causes or they killed himself or someone killed him because this was gonna destroy the political class in America. This was gonna erupt the entire system into an absolute fucking mess. But then, when he died, shit case closed. Closed all together, just gone. And this is why Glenn Maxwell has reopened the case again. Now, she can testify into this whole investigation and there is no way she is going to be left to magically die in some magical cell somewhere and this is where the political class might just uproar the entirety of the western and well political world it might just 
absolutely explode. And this is probably another additional best moment of 2020, just get this moment itself. And this woman vanished. I mean, she was gone for ages, like an entire year. And then we found her again. Now, things look to be promising again. So, hopefully we can get a bit more about this. But there's... It's going to be bigger than Harvey Weinstein. Let's say that, guys. It's going to be a bit bigger. And if this woman stays alive... Oh boy, things are going to get spicy. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And the number, Hail the Empire!